Hi there guys, Sonals here, and today we're doing something a bit different. Rather than just like randomly playing a game, we're doing a mod spotlight! And what mod you may ask? Well, it's the... CHOCOBO MOD! Ah, CHOCOBO! Yes, I'll, um, I'll put the mod author's name on screen now. Okay, there we go. And uh, yes, this is a uh, Chocobo mod. Now, I am having to do this in a mod pack because I suck at installing mods, so ignore anything else in the background. Like, all that over there, ignore it, don't pay attention to it. Anyway, on to the mod. Yes, so this is the Chocobo mod. As you can see, it adds a um, lovely Chocobo mob into your Minecraft world, which is just lovely. Um, and so, let's go to this pre-prepared... You see, I've prepared. I've actually been prepared this time. Isn't that weird? This pre-prepared pen over here that I have. <coughs> Having said that I've uh, pre-prepared, I've not actually got any. Go on. Go on. Ignore this. Ignore this. You saw nothing. Ah, that didn't happen. Ignore it. Yes, right. So, as you can see here, we have um, the chocobos. And so, basically, all that you need to do to uh, tame a chocobo is find some Gashar Greens, which are over there, and over there, and over there, and over there. There's lots of Gashar Greens in the world. And then you just go up and you uh, click them a few times. And as you can see, they get this funky little band around their neck, and they become your friends. So I've just seen a... Ignore it! It's Slime Island, ignore it! Yes. So that makes the Chocobos become your companions. So then, if you right-click on them with a Chocobo Feather, which you get, um, they just drop feathers uh, over time, as you can see like, in these pens, it's choked by feathers. Um, so then, uh, these are now your um, your chocobos, and if you get a chocopedia, I'm sure you have to craft that later, uh, you can right click on them, and you get these funky little things here, so you can say whether they wander around, follow or stay, uh, you can show or hide the names, this one's called Sky, uh, it's female, you can rename it, so it's called, um, uh, Keith Etta, Keith Etta. So we have Keith Etta there, and uh, this one will name um, Paul. Paul the Chocobo. There we go. Yes. So now we have Keith Etta and Paul, and now we're going to see the miracle of life. Um, here we go. Miracle of life with the lovely greens. So, to, um, again, I'll go over, like, how to get all the greens and what... No, actually, I shall tell you now. So, with the lovely greens, there are two different types of, um, green. There is the... Well, no, three, technically. There's Gaishal... There's Gaishal greens, there's lovely greens, and there's golden greens. With lovely greens, if you feed, uh, two chocobos lovely greens, like that, something like that, love each other! They make baby! As you can see, this has made a chocobo, and this is a, um... This is a, uh, forgot my colour, just a blue male Chikobo called Iron. There we go. Yes, and so when two Chocobos make love, um, there is a slight chance that they will uh, create a mutation, which creates the uh, blue Chocobo that you see here. Um, now, there is a type of green called a golden green, which, if you feed that to one or both of your breeding chocobos, there's a higher chance of mutation. So now we'll get on to how to get the various mutations. So if two yellow chocobos breed, they will make a uh, either a blue or a green chocobo, or a yellow chocobo. If a uh, green and a blue chocobo breed, we can do this now. Breed! Breed! Breed with each other! Oh, no, wait, you need to be... Yes, in order to make chocobos breed, you need to actually own the chocobos. There we go, if you do that, they will breed. So they will breed. Look, look, each other, go. Go! Make love! There we go, that has made a green chocobo. But there's a chance for them to make a white chocobo. And then, if you breed a yellow and a white chocobo, these are both males, so they can't breed. But, um, they just don't have the correct parts. Anyway, yes, uh, if you breed a yellow and a white chocobo together, that can make a black chocobo. Then if you bleed, bleed, if you bleed, and then breed a white and a black chocobo together, that makes gold. Any questions? No? Good. Right, let's move on. So, the... you may be wondering, uh, oh, but Soggles, what did the different types of chocobo do? I have written notes here. So, 
The yellow chocobos, uh, they're just bog standard, you can ride them and it's all happy and nice and fun. Um, oh, oh god, shush chocobos. Um, all the chocobos have the ability to um, glide slightly, reducing fall damage. Um, the green chocobos can climb one block high uh, blocks. So if you're just running, you can... I can hear zombies. If you're just running, you can just like run straight ahead and um, you'll go one block high things. So you can run quite smoothly. They also move faster than yellow chocobos. Blue chocobos are fast swimmers. So if you go through water, they will swim faster than other types of chocobo. But also, I think the same speed as green. White chocobo are a combination of... Um, the green and blue chocobos so they can swim fast and they can climb. Uh, they also move slightly faster than the blue chocobos. Then we have the black chocobo. Uh, black chocobos are high jumpers uh, so they jump quite high. Uh, they can climb and swim and they move faster than your white chocobos. Then we have the golden chocobo. Now golden chocobos um, are the fastest of all types of chocobo. They take no fall damage, and they can actually fly. So, that's a thing. So that is your Bogo standard different types of choker, there are some others over there, maybe. But we'll get onto that later. But first, I shall show you the crafting. So, over here. We have, um, Gaishal Seeds, which you make just by plonking a Gaishal Green in your crafting table. Um, you can then make, uh, you can then plant them, and there's a chance for them to mutate when you dig them up. Which they mutate into either a lovely green or a golden green. Uh, I think to get a golden chocobo you need to give at least one of the ones who breed to make a golden chocobo a golden green. I think. I think that's the thing. I'm pretty sure. Um, oh wait, let me just check something. Yes, I didn't know if I was recording audio just then. I slightly shat myself. So then, to make... Um, hay, which is important for later, you need to put two wheat into the crafting table like that, and it will make eight, uh, not hay straw, it will make eight straw. Oh look, Clank Fax, uh, Clank Fax is a uh, choco craft, so that's who we made it. Then uh, to make a chocopedia, in fact I'll show you the chocopedia, as you can see the chocopedia like contains all your information about uh, chocobos in the wild, uh, gash of greens, gash of mutations, gash of pickles, which we'll get on to in a minute. Uh, chocobo cake, chocobo pen, all that lovely stuff. So to make that you need a book, uh, and you need to put lapis, uh, gold nuggets, chocobo feathers, and ink around it like this. However, there are other ways to make it. Like you can, um, you can right click on a chocobo with a writable book, and that'll make it, I'm pretty sure. I think that's how I did it. Anyway, let's move on. Then we have the chocobo saddle. You know the chocobo saddle is this, in your crafting table. Uh, leather, two string, and a chocobo feather, and that allows you to obviously ride your chocobos. And if you um, if we go over and show you this, you right click there. Oh, it didn't actually have it on. Um, there will be a a drop gear um uh option in the little menu that you get when you right click on chocobo uh, to drop the gear if they're wearing anything like a, a saddle. So that's how you get them back. So you don't need to make multiple ones. And then we have this. Which is a, um, a chocobo pack. How do you make that using. Uh, is it called a chocobo pack? It's a chocobo saddle bag. Uh, this stores. Um, I forget how many it is, but a certain amount of items. So then you can just plonk that on your. Oh, just uh, then. Then you just plonk that on your chocobo and you can put items in it, much like a, uh, a mule. Uh, then we have the um, chocobo pack bags which are made like this and uh, that is just a bigger version of the um, saddle bag which means that you can carry even more stuff now we have the um, chocobo cake which is made using it's basically the cake recipe but instead it goes um, milk green milk sugar egg sugar wheat green wheat and that if you um show you if we get the no I can't because the inventory just ate my cake uh, oh sugar it's all going wrong uh, yes yeah, so if you feed that to a chocobo which is a baby chocobo it will instantly grow up into a fully chocobo then we have the chocobo whistle which 
is made using a fair bit of piece of gold, and I have absolutely no freaking clue what it does. I've never been able to figure it out, and it doesn't sound the wicked, I'm pretty sure. Now we have um, Gaishal Pickles, which I think heal Chocobo? Because Gaishal Greens heal Chocobo, but Gaishal Pickles, I'm pretty sure, um, also heal Chocobo. In fact, wait, we can read it. Uh, where is it? Um, okay, Gaishal Pickles. Where is it? Gaishal Mutations. Gaishal Pickles. Gaishal Pickles can be blah 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 blah. Uh, they're not very tasty, but nourishing. So yes, you can um, you can just feed that to a, uh, a chocobo or yourself, I think. So the way that you make Gaishal pickles is you get a Gaishal green, um, combine it in your craft table sugar, and you'll get two pickles. You then cook the pickles in the um, uh, furnace. I forgot the word just then, even though it was right in front of me. And it makes uh, cooked Gaishal pickles. Which you can then eat, and it's lovely. Right, so next we'll move on to what you use your straw for. Or hay, it's, it's straw. So this is a uh, chocobo pen. It's a bit small, but basically what you want to do is make a little area like this. I'm not too sh I think all it really needs is a fence, straw, and a cauldron. But basically what you do is you plonk a chocobo in here, and if it takes damage, if there is a cauldron that's full of water, I've got water in it, uh, near straw, the chocobo will go to the cauldron and automatically heal itself, which is very useful if your chocobos take damage. So, generally, the idea is you want to get your chocobos, put them in a pen, and then it like you can you know go out, ride them. If they take damage, take them back to the pen, and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and Mavis is your long lost cousin. And then there you go, you've healed your chocobos. Now, there's um, these two chocobos. Don't, don't care, don't have any information about them. These are the red chocobo and the pink chocobo. I'm not too sure how to get them, and the mod creator does say that they're secret chocobos, and there's, I can just say cows flipping about. Do you mind? Um, yeah, so they don't actually say how you get uh, these chocobos, but there are pink guy shells and red guy shells, which, uh, Maybe you dive them? I'm, I'm not too sure. But anyway, now we move on to the last chocobo. Who has escaped? Because I'm an idiot and can't set things up to save my life. So yes, this is the purple chocobo that you find in the nether. Now he is, as I say, he's, um, is he aggressive? Let's find out. Yo. Yo, chocobo. Okay, apparently not. Um, can we give him... Ah, yes, now, um, the chocobos, the purple chocobos, which look really cool. Ah, Enderman! Yes, the purple chocobos, um, they take a bit more, um, like, uh, Gaishal Greens to get than the other chocobos do. Because they're kind of, like, a bit more aggressive, because you'll find them in the nether, like, royally messing up uh, zombie pigmen and whatnot. So anyway, I think that that just about covers most of the Chocobo mod. There is also some armor, but I'm not sure how to make it. And there's a um, Chocobo leg, if you're a sick, sick individual who wants to murder Chocobos and eat them. So anyway, yes, that has about covered all that there is to know about the um, Chocobo mod. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Sogongs. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you didn't, then feel free to leave a dislike. And as always, I shall see you in the next video. Cheerio!